Peter Lynch is one of the best investors in the world. And in this video, we will explore 20 pieces of Tao financial wisdom from Peter Lynch. As the manager of the Magellan Fund at Fidelity Investments between 1977 and 1990, Lynch averaged a 29.2% annual return, constantly more than double the S&P 500 stock market index and making it the best performing mutual fund in the world. Lynch is an advocate of value investing and has written a number of books on investing strategies, including One Up on Wall Street. He has inspired investors such as Joel Tillinghast and Francois Richon, and you can learn more about them in the videos Investing Wisdom with Joel Tillinghast and Investing Wisdom with Francois Richon. The Top 20 Pieces of Tao Wisdom from Peter Lynch Number 1 Know what you own. Lynch says, know what you own and why you own it. When you know what you own, you'll be able to make better investment decisions. Number two. Never invest in a company without understanding its finances. The biggest losses in stocks come from companies with poor balance sheets. Only invest in good companies and your returns will increase dramatically. Lynch says, The worst thing you can do is invest in companies you know nothing about. Unfortunately, buying stocks on ignorance is still a popular American pastime. Number 3. Everyone has the brain power to make money in stocks. Everyone has the brain power, but not everyone has the stomach. If you sell stocks in panic, the stock market is not for you. Bear market and crashes are great investment opportunities. You can learn more about the mindset required to invest in the stock market in the video Behavioural Investing with Mr. Spock. Number 4. Make use of your edge. Your investor's edge is not something you get from Wall Street experts. It's something you already have. Stock information can be found everywhere. On your work, when you go shopping, make use of it. For example, you might see a new ice cream store open and see that it's very popular and attractive. You get to encounter these types of opportunities long before Wall Street does. Number 5. Amateur investors have big advantages compared to professionals. The stock market is dominated by a herd of professional investors. When you ignore them and think rationally, you have a big advantage compared to the professionals. Number 6. Focus on the long term. There is no correlation between the success of a company's operations and the success of a stock over a few years. However, in the long term, stock prices will always follow the underlying fundamentals of the company. If the stock does well, you will also do well as an investor. You can learn more about this in the video Meet and Understand Mr. Market. Number 7. Long shots always miss the mark. Don't invest in hypes or the next big thing. Instead, invest in quality companies with a healthy balance sheet, high profitability and good capital allocation. Number 8. Don't over diversify. Owning stocks is a bit like having pets. Don't get involved with more than you can care for. You should be able to analyse and follow up on every stock that you have in your portfolio. When you know what you are doing and have done your homework, you'll be able to take good investment decisions when they matter most. Number 9. Have some cash on the sideline. If you can't find attractive companies, put your money in the bank until you discover some. It is always a good idea to have some cash on the sideline. This allows you to invest heavily when Mr. Market has become too pessimistic. Number 10. Return on invested capital is key. You want to invest in companies with good capital allocation. The return on invested capital is one of the most important metrics for quality investors. The higher, the better. 
Number 11. Avoid hot stocks. For investors, the margin of safety lies in the competitive advantage of the company. Invest in great companies with a strong track record. For more information about competitive advantages, please see the video on understanding the five company moats. Number 12. Only invest in profitable companies. When you can find a small cap quality company which is a market leader in a niche, you have found a potential multi-bagger. Number 13. Let your winners run. If you invest $1,000 in a stock, all you can lose is $1,000, but you stand to gain $10,000 or even $50,000 over time if you're patient. You need to find a few good stocks to make a lifetime of investing worthwhile. Lynch says, All you need for a lifetime of successful investing is a few big winners, and the pulses from those will overwhelm the minuses from the stocks that don't work out. Number 14. Small is beautiful. In every industry, in every region, the observant amateur can find great growth companies long before professionals have discovered them. Do you notice something very interesting at your work or in the shopping mall? If the company is still small and listed on the stock market, this might offer great opportunities for you. Remember, Lynch says, big companies have small moves. Small companies have big moves. Number 15. Stock market declines are opportunities. If you're prepared, corrections can't hurt you. Corrections are great opportunities to pick up bargains left behind by investors who are panicking. We can learn more about this in the video Understanding Bull and Bear Markets. Number 16. There is always something to worry about. There will always be uncertainty in the economy and on the stock market. Sell a stock because the company's fundamentals deteriorate, not because the sky is falling. Time in the market is way more important than timing the market. Number 17. Don't look at macroeconomic factors. Nobody can predict interest rates, the future direction of the economy, or the movement of foreign currencies. Dismiss all such forecasts and concentrate on what's actually happening to the company in which you've invested. Number 18. There are always pleasant surprises to be found in the stock market. If you study, say, 10 companies, you'll find one for which the story is better than expected. So if you study 50, you might find 5. The best thing that can happen to you is buying a stock that goes up a 100 times. Lynch says, It only takes a handful of big winners to make a lifetime of investing worthwhile. Number 19. Do your homework. If you speculate in stocks, you will have the same chance of success as playing a poker game without looking at your cards. The stock market rewards people who do their homework. Number 20. Time is on your side when you own stocks of great companies. Time is on your side when you buy great businesses. When the earnings of the stock goes up, say 10 times, the stock price will eventually follow. There you have it. The top 20 pieces of Tao financial wisdom from Peter Lynch. This is Investivarsity and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos from the world's greatest investors.